Hey there, Leo. Welcome to your mid-month bonus love reading for Leo's sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Thank you guys so much for being here to all my loyal subscribers and returning viewers. I appreciate all the love and support. Make sure that you guys give this a thumbs up. Remember the sign with the most likes and the sign with the most views gets a bonus live reading with me. And I would love to do a live for my Leo friends. If you're new to me, welcome. Thank you for stopping by. I do read intuitively, so you want to stick around for the entire message as I do get various messages throughout and I clarify the entire reading. This will be for singles and couples and I will clarify as I go along. So your major arcana is here, the death card and the hanged man and your playlist is linked up here by the way before I forget to book a reading in the link in the description box down below. The death card and the hanged man followed by the eight of swords, four of pentacles, ten of wands and five of pentacles. Okay, some of you are feeling a little maybe stuck, overprotective, feeling whether or not you should embark on a new journey. If you're single, if you're coming out of a tough breakup or a separation, you're wondering if you're ready to date. I feel as though a lot of you have been going through this transformation, almost a bit of a rebirth, a healing through past traumas, breakups, experiences. I feel like you are going through this energy of trying to understand what went wrong and how not to, well, repeat history, right? I do feel as though this isn't the energy of being held back, but rather understanding the lessons that you've learned and how not to recreate that in the present moment or the near future. There is a sense of a guarded energy because I feel that with the Ten of Wands and the Five of Pentacles, it's... It's that energy of the minute it starts to feel like it's too much work, like this is heavy energy between two people or a relationship, I'm out. Because I feel like for some of you, you've really, really invested into a, an, into a relationship that ended up leaving you left out in the cold. Others of you, I feel like you've met someone new and you're starting over, but there is this self-sabotage energy that the more this person seems to be like too good to be true, the more you kind of shut down and the more you're almost guarding yourself even more. It, it feels very much like self-sabotage energy. And so this person is like, um, <clears throat> what's going on? What gives? They start to feel left out in the cold because you may still be feeling that residual energies from past relationships. Tell me what the Eight of Swords and the Five of Pentacles is about here for my Leo friends. Ooh. I did see this one flip over in reverse, I want to say. Now, for those of you that don't know, not a single one of my cards is in reverse. If it comes out in reverse, it is, you know, of significant meaning. I don't know if the camera caught that, but let's see what this is. Oh, it landed right side up. Okay, Seven of Cups. The Eight of Swords, the Five of Pentacles could be having too many options or dating someone who treated you like an option. Having someone who maybe was really super interested in you in the beginning, love bombed you and then left you hanging, left you out in the cold, making you feel as though you are just one of the many options that they have. I feel as though in the beginning they showed you that you were a priority, they made time for you and then little by little, there were other things, people, places, situations that became more of a priority than it was to spend time with you, call you back, message you, get to know each other even further. Now, for those of you that ended up uh, hooking up with this person thinking, oh my God, they're just so amazing. And then you hook up and then that happens. I can see why you would feel guarded. I also feel that if it hasn't, if this isn't the first time that this has happened, there is like the weight of the world world is how I'm hearing it that's making you feel like well just when you think you can trust people they prove to me that I can't uh, so I do feel like if you feel like someone just kind of really sold you on a dream uh, really became what it is that you truly wanted in a relationship and a connection they I feel like they started off asking you what are you looking for what's the type of person what do you like it's like you literally gave them 
uh, the manuscript of how to win you over and they ran with it. And there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, we all want to get to know each other in a relationship, but I feel like this person was a bit more mysterious and guarded and asked a lot of questions of you, but did not fully divulge what's going on with them. Right. And I feel like at first you really loved the attention, uh, but but it also felt like you were it felt like you were really enjoying the attention that you felt to really start getting to know them on a much deeper level. I feel like Leo's you may have given up more info on yourself than they did of themselves. And I feel like if you take a step back, you'll really see why did I ask them this? Why didn't I ask them that? And no, I'm not like this isn't a blame game. This is for you to understand you know, did I miss something? I feel like that is what's coming through here when you realize that it was more so them trying to ask more of you to win you over, to know exactly how to play you, play the situation, uh, or work their way into your life, right? So just be careful of that type of energy. I do feel like they gave you just enough to let you know they were really interested in you. And so there is this feeling of not trusting your intuition as as much as you would have in the past. OK, uh, give me a reason why the four of pentacles is here. Let me know why they feel so uh, the need to guard themselves and protect themselves fully. I do feel like you're holding on. Um, the Empress card, and the Ten of Swords. So um, for some of you, this could have been a pregnancy that had to have been terminated, unfortunately. I hate to say that, but if there was an accidental pregnancy and uh, this person basically said, I'm not going to be a part of this, um, you know, get rid of it or whatever, you know, very callously is what I'm hearing. Uh, I feel like this person is devoid of, of empathy. They they knew how to win you over, but when something comes about that wasn't necessarily in their plan, um, they became a real, well, let's just say a real piece of work, okay? So I'm sorry, Leo, if you had to go through that type of energy with someone. Um, the, the Empress card with the Ten of Swords really does feel like this could have been... Um, ending of a relationship ending of a pregnancy um just when you thought things were growing into something they ended very suddenly uh you felt like this person really truly became uh, something or someone else someone else had this energy as well um whose reading did i do oh my god who had this reading I'm sorry, I'm blanking out. I know someone else, I think Cancer had this reading. So maybe you're dealing with a Cancer or they have um, like Cancer energy, um, heavy Cancer, Moon or Venus. Uh, this could have been some sort of, yeah. Or you have Cancer in your chart. You might want to check out that reading. But the Empress and the Ten of Swords could have also been um, them leaving you as a single parent. And so now you're trying to figure out how to date, how to move on from it. Um, I feel like especially if they left you a single parent, if you're raising a child by yourself, uh, I do feel that you're much more guarded in terms of who you let into your world, especially if you have little ones or children. Yeah, so I do feel like a lot of you have been in a little bit more of an isolation mode, trying to, it feels like trying to rebuild yourself and find yourself back to you. Uh, there's There's been enough alone time and isolation time to really help heal your heart, but there's this energy of nervousness and almost self-sabotage holding yourself back, keeping yourself stuck in the energy that maybe you're not ready yet or maybe it's not time yet or wait till my child is grown or wait till I don't know whatever it is you're waiting for right maybe you feel like you have not healed enough uh, from the past betrayals or backstab energy right um, 
if you're in a coupled up relationship, this necessarily is, doesn't mean, you know, like you were forced to terminate, but you could have had uh, several miscarriages. I don't know why that energy keeps popping up. Um, that popped up for someone else as well. I think, um, I think either Aries or Sag, it also popped up. So you could have that in your chart as well or be dealing with Aries. You know, that's the Empress here. Um, the the Empress can also be, you know, Taurus, Venus. Um, but I do feel that if there was that type of issue where just as you thought things were growing and expanding in your relationship, they came to a very, very harsh ending. Um, it, it became a very overwhelming stressor on an emotional level. Wow. Yeah. The nine of wands to clarify that 10 of wands with the seven of pentacles. It's like you did all this work for nothing just for you to walk away feeling battle wounded, feeling, you know, like you were literally torn down and depleted. Uh, what else here? So there could have been um, a third party situation. There could have been news of someone else who was either a meddler, uh, someone who was way too interested in your relationship and whether or not it was working out. Three of Cups can be celebration with Page of Wands. So uh, that could also be, you know, news of news that you sh that should have been celebratory but ended up hurting you or your relationship right for example you find out you're pregnant your partner's not happy and it's all as though you can't even enjoy or celebrate your pregnancy um it, it just felt it feels like a really sour and stingy energy in in your in your relationship i just feel like it literally feels like someone's got thorns on their back okay so you may need some sort of energy clearing um you know do some grounding work getting get reiki energy clearing i do offer that service if you're interested it is in the link is in the description box down below if you are interested in tarot reiki combination um, where we can discuss how I can help you release those, you know, those ties or whatever it may be and how I can help you move past it or just an energetic clearing and balancing, okay? Um, but moving forward, what is the most important message Leo needs to know from this reading moving forward? Too many cards, but I will show them to you because I don't like to take more than two or three. Two of Pentacles, two or three, literally. Two of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, and Three of Pentacles. I feel like it, there's been a part of you where this person does love to come in and out of your life just when you start to feel a little bit more balanced and grounded, trying to make it seem as though they want to work things out. I feel like there's a part of you that as you're going through healing, you are contemplating what if this person comes back do i take them back the fact that you're still contemplating is part of the reason why you're still feeling a little bit of imbalance if this person you know literally hurt you tore you down disrespected you and and put you in a world of hurt literally why is there still contemplation of wanting to make this work really let's be real with yourself about is this person even capable of giving you what it is that you truly want the love that you deserve because i feel like you're deserving of so much more so much better and i feel that once you allow them back in after they've done like something horrendous and horrific it's almost as though it gives them a pass for the past pain, the past hurt. But I also feel that it also, the way this person's mind and energy is showing me is that it gives them a green light to not put it past them to do it again. Okay? What are their true intentions for Leo if they're dealing with this situation? Yeah, I'm telling you, they'll come back and want um, a, a second chance, another opportunity. I feel like they will talk up a good game. What are their intentions with Leo? 
Listen, two cards in reverse, the star and the strength card, major arcanas, which means big energy. The fact that the star and the strength is in reverse, it's like they're holding you back from healing, from finding your inner strength. It's like they're holding you back. They don't want you to feel empowered. They don't want you to feel like hopeful of being able to do this on your own. They want to keep you codependent. They want to keep you in stagnancy. I do feel that that is their intentions is what's coming through here. Yeah, confirming five of swords. This is like the a-hole card. This is the big time jerk card. These gray clouds that are right, like looming above his head could also signify, you know, psychic attacks, pain and confusion, unable to think for yourself and think clearly, them wanting to really take over your mind if they're gaslighting you making you feel like you know you don't know what you're talking about or you're wrong about what you're talking about it's like they're making you think that you're crazy this is winning at all costs regardless of what they put you through and you need to be careful with people like that because people like that can literally cause you to really need to seek mental health beyond the norm okay queen of swords this person if it is you embodying the energy of the queen of swords which i hope it is or if it's the person that's coming through but the queen of swords does not mince words i mean if their sole purpose is to come back in to make you feel like you're weak, like you need them, like you can't do this on your own. Who do you think you are? You don't know what you're talking about. You're you're unstable. You're emotionally and mentally unstable. You're crazy. And that's what this energy is making you feel like they're not done trying to destroy you. This is a very toxic person. So you really need to, if you're dealing with this energy, obviously not everyone is, you really need to stand your ground. Do not mince words. Do not engage in back and forths, but simply set your boundaries moving forward. What are their feelings for Leo? How do they truly feel about Leo? Three of Cups, Nine of Cups. So I feel like wish fulfillment with the Knight of Cups, but the Three of Cups, you know, this is let's just keep it casual. Let's just party it up while promising you that I'm going to do everything I possibly can to win you over. Can they? So I feel like they really want to present themselves as the king of pentacles. I feel like, but they also feel like they see you as the more stable one. That if you're trying to, you know, create the life of abundance and emotional fulfillment that you want for yourself, they don't want to be left out and left behind. How do they see you? How do they see Leo? As successful as you may be struggling to be a successful person on your own or without them yeah they see you embarking on a new journey they see you doing it on your own after they've said that you could never and it's like how dare you how dare you be in a better place without them they're not here for a long time but a good time point blank period the knight of wands okay I feel like like they see you as someone that they can come and go and do whatever they please whenever they want. Leo, if you are going through this, know that you are worthy of so much more. So much more. Now, to clarify for my single Leos that are not going through this, but are hoping to call someone in, hoping to bring in love, what is blocking them in love? You haven't made a decision about how you want to move forward, about what it is that you want for yourself. For some of you, you may be in separation. You may be thinking of going through a divorce. But the minute that you decide what you're worthy and deserving of, where you choose yourself, your healing, your self-worth, self-respect, your own sense of pride and dignity and feeling whole 
and loving yourself. The minute you decide that, the universe will start balancing the scales and move things very, very quickly for you. And what comes through for them when they've decided what they want for themselves? Beautiful, the Four of Wands. This one fell out. Eight of Cups, the Four of Wands, the Eight of Cups, what peeked through, King of Wands and the Tower. So you may have been dealing with a fire sign uh, or strong Scorpio, Capricorn, Aquarius, Virgo, Aries, um, but also Libra. You know, it, it's as though the minute that you decide to walk away and do right by you, 888, I said it, um, it, it just feels as though the universe really does align the life that you want for yourself. The Four of Wands is happiness, joy, fulfillment, a sense of union and unity uh, within friends, family, experiencing so many celebrations. This is also the 1111 card. So that is very synchronistic for you uh, that once you've chosen you, what's best for you and let go and put your you know turn your back on toxicity and the the pain from the past to do the inner work the healing work the universe says we got you boo here it is your perfect person starts coming in now they'll come in just as quickly as you decide as you're ready or however quick slow you may be moving this person feels like they're already making their way towards you and it may feel like slow going but that's because you still have to do some of the work here on an emotional level so I do feel that there is a lot of love coming in for you when you decide that you're good and ready, when you decide to let go of the past and start healing from within, start healing and letting go of past situations, past traumas, things of that nature. If you are married or in a committed relationship and you've been going back and forth, you're in separation. I do feel like this person, if they've been very unhealthy for you, very toxic and stressful, I do feel as though they're going to try to come back and work things out with you and i do feel that you will speak up and speak your truth and set those boundaries but you've got to be firm on it if you do decide to give them a second chance you got to be ready to walk away the minute that they go back to their old bs the minute they start bringing up the same old bs from the past okay now you have the card of patience everything will unfold in divine timing i feel like have patience with yourself with your healing and and you know be more give yourself more grace more patience compassion understanding as you heal because when you've been through a tough breakup a bad relationship especially for, for with someone who's been emotionally unavailable and then gaslighting you and hurting you on that level it, it takes a long time to get past it and get over it. This person is unable to give you all you deserve. Play hard. Find, uh, find time to laugh, goof off, and enjoy each other. Card of true love came through. I told you this love is emotional, physical, and unconditional. Those of you that are calling in true love. And look at that. Spoke about children in the beginning. Children are important to this partnership. Uh, so they. I feel like children are important to this partnership. It may feel one-sided for those of you that have had someone walk away because they had said from the beginning they didn't want children they weren't going to accept the children they wanted you to get rid of the pregnancy things of that nature uh for others of you if you are meeting someone new i feel like this is someone who really is your true love be patient as this will grow into a very deep connection and someone who you can really be yourself on all levels have fun enjoy each other's company and i do feel that this will lead to a long-term committed relationship that does bear children or the two of you may already have children and the the time that is spent with each other's children together and separate is very important as well i feel like you're calling someone in that can be a very good partner and can be a very good parent to 
your children as well as theirs or if the two of you decide to have children do we have any more yes well there you go one last one you are safe and divinely guided and protected okay so some of you that have been afraid to make that decision to walk away from a toxic partnership that is the universe letting you know that and look at that unrequited love codependency and children i cannot make this up you saw when I picked it up, these two fell, revealing unrequited love. And the two cards that were left behind were children and codependency. So I do feel like this person that if you're struggling to leave behind, if you're worried about, you know, retaliation or how they will be uh, further abuse, definitely if you feel like there is physical DV, you know, abuse, uh, I'm not a lawyer, uh, but definitely get the, the, the authorities involved, um, I do feel that if you have been trying to hang on to a relationship where this person is clearly not on the same page as you, doesn't want the same as you, is emotionally unavailable and lacks empathy uh, to really understand how they're hurting you. And actually, I feel like they do know how they're hurting you, but they fail to really care is how i'm hearing it okay so just know that you are safe and divinely guided i feel that it's time for you to honor yourself and protect yourself moving forward especially if you've had to leave a connection while pregnant or after recently giving birth the trust card flipped out here so um what's what's the romance angel what do the romance angels have for leo couples because i was talking about couples and separation and things of that nature take oh some of you are definitely struggling struggling with leaving someone behind so you have give your relationship a chance work on your partnership and retreat uh, I feel like some of you need to go on a retreat alone before you decide to go on a retreat with them. If this is someone who is doing the inner work, is doing the healing work, is not just talking but showing that they're remorseful, regretful, that they're willing to work on this partnership, I do feel like if they are the ones pursuing you with all intents purposes as being a good partner, a good father, a good mother, whatever it may be, then maybe you need some time apart, some time alone to really uh, understand if this is a good match or not, whether or not you should give them another chance. It's really your decision. Uh, I feel that if they're as unhealthy, as toxic as it's coming up, that's probably not a good idea if they've um, been very threatening, if you're afraid to be around them, right? If you are not experiencing that type of energy, and you've just been at odds with each other, not getting along, not being on the same page. Maybe you're feeling they're emotionally unavailable. You take some time apart. This feels like it's a connection or a relationship that's had many months apart. I feel like they may come back and realize they made a mistake and they may want to take you away for the weekend to reconnect, go on a retreat together. Okay, I'm hearing... You want to know whether or not you can trust them coming back. Can they be trusted if they come back? Can they be trusted? Six of Wands, King of Cups, Eight of Pentacles. You can trust that they really want to do right by you, that they're feeling a little bit more in touch with their emotions. And the Eight of Pentacles is about putting the work in here. Now, remember not to take their word, um, but also, you know, to make sure that they're putting their work, putting action behind their, their word. Because, you know, you can only take so much at face value if, if it doesn't line up with true action behind it. Then it's just empty promises okay so what can you tell me for leo singles <laughs> love yourself first that unrequited love came out again 
so if you are going back and forth where you're single, coupled, situationship, in-betweener, I feel like all of these kind of blend in together. That unrequited love, remember, came out earlier. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. I feel like there's more like there is attraction there. There's, there is chemistry there, but I feel like there's not enough to go deeper. Like it just feels superficial. Um, and for some, it's a situation ship that just feels like it's on a physical level. So the universe is really telling you, your romance angels are saying, love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So if it means say no to this person so you can move on and call in your true love, that true love is really whoever they may be leading to long-term committed romantic relationship marriage children the works for you okay so definitely set up those boundaries be safe leo i don't like that toxic energy for you guys i don't like this you know feeling of uh, almost like threatening energy you know i just don't like it let me pull a couple of these cards before i end this reading i know it's gotten a little long here any last messages for Leo because I'm not liking that unhealthy, toxic vibe that's surrounding them at this time? Let's remind Leo what they have to look forward to or what they need to be aware of, any red flags that they may be dismissing. Healing heart. You're healing from a heartbreak. Freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. I cannot make this up. If you are going through your healing journey, healing from a toxic relationship or codependencies and, you know, addictive partnerships where it's become just physical, strictly sexual or whatever, I feel like you are going through this healing journey and they may just pop in and just make you regress all over again. So be mindful of that if that is not what you want. If you're really looking at things uh, with rose-colored glasses, right? Any last messages? Look at that. Oh, okay. Heartbroken, deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving or mourning. The coffin card. Endings bring new beginnings. Growth, change, liberation, and transition what else coffee cup meeting and conversing savoring the moment and feeling uplifted and friendship so some of you have been going through this healing journey and that you're starting to open up to new people starting off maybe just as friends and getting to know people very slowly as you feel comfortable and i did feel that energy from the very beginning um, I feel like this person will come in to try to win you back, this person from your past. And it just is going to remind you that, you know, you're they put you in a world of hurt that you've had to do a lot of healing, a lot of inner work. And that this ending between the two of you just liberated you from that toxicity, from that negativity that has allowed you to just start anew, start fresh. Do we have anything else before I end this? Because I'm about to end this. Okay, apparently we do. So what do you have to look forward to? Look at that. Well, I do love that you have the abundance card. Keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude and bliss. I do feel that you've uh, elevated your energetic vibration. This person feels that you're detaching more and more. They pop back in. Because now, you know... Someone else may be paying attention to you. Maybe you've just healed and you've seen things for what they are. The palm tree card, stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, and flexibility. You also have the chaser. Chaser in a codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issues. So this person that comes back in, they could be the chaser. And no, that doesn't mean you're the runner or vice versa. But the message here does say that, you know, this could have been codependent. They're fearful that you've left them for good, even if you've been broken up and separated for a very long time or that you've just decided this will never work again. It's over and done with. Nail on the coffin. The end. Goodbye. 
I do feel that you've decided that you know you want better, you know what's best for you, and you're not going to stop until you get that. Love yourself first. Honor yourself. Really take the time to do the healing work, the inner work, so that you are very strong and stable within your own energy, emotionally and mentally, spiritually, energetically, and yes, financially, where you no longer have to feel an obligation to reopen up any wounds or any relationships that will open up those wounds okay leo i wish you guys all the best sending you lots of love and healing and i hope that your next reading is 100 times percent better i do feel that you're on a really good path towards healing from a very bad situation but that doesn't have to be your story that doesn't have to be your future you get to decide remember that don't let anyone else make that decision for you Sending you guys so much love, strength, and courage to do what's best for you. Have a wonderful rest of your month. I will see you guys in your March and your weekly readings and your angel readings. Have a good one. Take care. Bye.